Hi everyone, hope you are having amazing day. This is the another tutorial of WebRTC series. Today let's start to implement a video chat application using WebRTC technology. In the last video, we have implemented our first WebRTC chat room application. I hope you might already watch the videos. Those videos will be good reference to us during the implementation of this video chat application. First of all, welcome all to Engineering Semester channel. Here we are providing new emerging technologies tutorials. If you are new to this channel or new to this WebRTC series, please go and watch our introduction part first. Now let's start the implementation. I have already discussed that we will be using the same Node.js server code of the chat room application. There is no further changes required in the server code. We have to only implement the client site application with audio and video frames. As we already know that, WebRTC provide Get User Media API to get audio and video streams. So we are going to use that API in this application. I hope you already remember the client UI design of the chat room application. In this video call application, we are using an additional video element in the HTML page. Once each user has successfully negotiated the WebRTC connection, then we have to show that video call UI in both client and peer side. Now let us see the code for implementation. In this client application, most of the code we are reusing from the chat room application. So I don't want to explain each and every lines of code here. If you are new to this tutorial, please go and watch the our first chat room WebRTC implementation. There I have explained all the functions. Once the user requests a call to peer user, first server will check the user is already in the call or not. If the user is available, we have to run the get user media API to fetch the microphone and camera. This is handled in the permission camera before call function. In this function, WebRTC allows navigator.media.devices.getUserMedia API to fetch the media. We can make audio and video permission as true. Once we received the video and audio streams, we have to apply to our video tag in the HTML code. In the HTML code, we have to create a dynamic video page to show the video call interactions. To do that, we have created a create video call page function. In this function, we have written the HTML code to show the video call interactions. Here we have created the client video frame and peer video frame as the ID of client and peer user. Also we have created mute and enable video buttons in the div tag. Now we have to add the streams to client video tag. Here we have stored the streams to a local variable for the future purpose. Using this piece of code, we can display the current microphone and camera names of your system. Once the stream is successful, we have to create the RTC peer connection object. Now we have to bind the event listener for different events like ICE connection state change tracks etc. These are new APIs update from the browser. We have used old methods in the chat room application. Here we have updated all the latest APIs. Next we have to add the streams to RTC peer connection by using the previously stored local variable. Using add track callback we can add the client stream to RTC peer connection object. Next we have to listen for the remote peer stream. To do that, we have to create an event lister for the track. Using got remote stream function, we have to get the stream and add to remote peer video tag in the HTML. Next if it is a client side user, then we have to create the data channel for the text chat. Using create data channel function, we can achieve this. This is the same function we had used in the chat room application. So I don't want to explain in detail. Once the data channel created successfully, we have to create WebRTC offer to the peer user. In the creating offer function, we are achieving this. In this function, using createOffer method we are creating the offer. During this time, we have to show our outgoing pop-up notification to the client as well. Once the offer is created, we have to set the client user local description as this created offer. This is handled in the onCreateOffer success function. 
Finally we have to send the newly created offer to signaling server. Then server will send this offer to peer user. Now client user side request is completed. Next we have to implement the peer user side. Once the offer received from signaling server by the peer side, we have to create the incoming pop-up. This is same as previous chat room application. Once the user has clicked the accept button in the pop-up, we have to call make answer function to create answer for that offer. In this function, we can call again permission camera function with data channel as false. Since the client user has created the channel already, we don't need to create the channel again in the peer user side. In this function we will get camera and audio streams. So we will do the same steps as client user was followed. Next we have to listen for the data with on data channel event. And finally we have to create the answer. In creating answer function, first we will set the remote description using that offer. Then we will send the ICE candidate to client user. Now we will generate answer using create answer method. Then we will set the local description of the peer user with this answer. Finally we will send the generated answer to signaling server. Once the server send the answer to client user, we can get that offer from server. This is handled in the onAnswer function. Next using that answer, we have to set remote description of the client user. This is the final step of the WebRTC connection. After this step, we have to send user is ready message to server. When the user received the ready message from the client user, then server will acknowledge the message back to client and peer. This is handled in user is ready function. If the value is true from server, then we have to show the video call page in both client and peer side. Also we have to make the online status as busy for each users. Now each users can see each other in the video page and send message each other. That's it, we have done the video chat application now. All the other functions you can go by yourself. Those functions are same as chat room application. If you want to understand those functions, you can go through previous chat room video as well. Now let us see the demo of the application. First we can go and load the index.html page in the browser. I have used Chrome browser here. All the logs you can see in the console window of the browser page. Here I have logged with test user1 and test user2 username. Both names should be unique. Once you have logged to the server, you can see the available online user list in the left side of the application. If you want to make a call with other user, you can simply press the call button. Once you click the button, a pop-up will be displayed with camera and audio permission. This is we achieved by Get User Media API. Once you allow the permission, you can see the incoming pop-up with Accept and Reject button in the peer user side. Once the peer user has accepted the call, he has to allow his camera and audio permission. After that, a video call page will be displayed with peer and client videos. In both side we can see the video call page. Client user can disable the video streams using the disable button over the video. Once the video is disabled, peer user cannot see the client video. We can enable it after using enable button. Same like video, we can mute the audio of the client user. You can simply press the mute button to do that. Now we can send text message each other. Both user can see the messages. Also we if the user is in another tab, he can see the message notification count in the window tab as well. Finally if user want to leave, they can simply click the leave button. This will delete all the connection from the user. If the user want to call again, he can simply press the call button. You can check all the combinations like rejecting the call and accepting call etc.
I hope you got a complete idea of the video chat room application now. If you want, you can customize the video chat room by adding more features. And during any point of time, if you have any issues, feel free to comment below. We will try to answer you as soon as possible. I have given the complete source code in the GitHub repository. If you want to understand and customize the application, you can clone the repository and work for it. I have added the link of this repository in the video description as well. You can download it easily. Now we have finished our second application using WebRTC. If you haven't seen the entire WebRTC series, go back and watch those videos. We came from what is WebRTC introduction video and then different WebRTC APIs and finally to this video chat implementation. Go back watch entire series and make sure you watch all the videos. That's it for now. See you soon with another video. Thank you very much for watching this video. Have a wonderful day.